Magic City is a strip club. When you walk in, you throw money, and girls get butt complete naked. Like, they take their bottoms off, and they take their top, and they shake their ass. Pluto. Future. Bitch, tell the night, parking lot, leave a man. Two bad bitches, and I got a out of man. The way you make it work, disappear, call it magic. Sipping on the purple in the yellow, call it magic. Why lie, magic? Why lie, magic? We made that song, Leaving from Magic. And then I made it like a, I made that song at 11 o'clock in the morning, 11 a.m. Gorgeous strippers, money everywhere, hot wings. It's not a strip club if you don't have money on the floor with hot wings in it. You gotta have like an eaten bone of a hot wing on top of the money with like a stripper heel that's off just right there and bottles, plenty of bottles and empty cups. That's the American dream. I felt like I made it. The money, the loud music, the stars, the beautiful women, you know, the whole culture. It was like you were in the middle of a music video. <laughs> Tupac been in there, Biggie, all the great celebrities. And you got the hottest DJ in there, DJ Esco, um, who breaks a lot of artists. Everybody comes in there and they want to shake his hand, be a part of the movement. It's the hottest city in the country in music. It's like Motown was in the 70s with groups on every corner singing, trying to get a deal. It's the same thing in Atlanta, it's just rap. DJ Esco! <laughs> I love DJ Esco, yeah. yes, because he has one yeah. of the the most important night, Magic City Monday. Everyone's my friend on Monday in Atlanta, because <laughs> it's Magic City. It's like the black cheers, you know? Everybody knows your name. Maybe one day your talent can bring you uh, uh, the treasure, you know, if you follow your dreams. Another day. Another dollar. Watch the cars in the lamp. I've done Future's car a couple times. I've done uh, Rico Wade's car, 2 Chainz car. One day I was watching Esco car, and me and him sat in the car, and we he played some beats for me, and I rapped over him. Me and him kind of have a good relationship, you know, as far as me just uh, watching his car, and he comes up there and vibe out sometime. Anything that's coming out of Atlanta right now, if the DJs play your music, then it's going to spread worldwide. Voila. Do you know City Dollar? Who said he washed your car? City Dollar? It sounds like somebody who washed my car. <laughs> I was broke. Like, I grew up, like, broke. The two nine to fives just wasn't cutting it. So cliche, um, <laughs> I was in college and I couldn't pay for my classes. I made roughly anywhere between 15 to 20,000 my first week here. I was shocked. I'm like, this is, this is it. Like, I'm gonna be doing this for a minute. The stigma is kind of coming off of the name stripper. We don't have movie stars in Atlanta, so the strippers are the movie stars. Like, they're a high class. I at least socially in Atlanta. And so that's why the strip club is a dream. You make money for free. Just by dancing. Who doesn't want to dance and make money for free? I'm isolating the muscles in my butt and swinging my hair to make it look sexy. <laughs> Your trap, how you get your money. That's what a trap is. Everybody runs their setup differently. You know what I'm saying? It's like a corporation. So some people hold on to their money, some people spend it. Everybody got different amounts coming in. It's like a trap. Like if your trap booming, your trap booming. Some people's trap ain't always booming. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it is. That's how it goes. <laughs> this is my money making move. Okay. Everywhere I go is my booty. I stop traffic, I cause car accidents, I get men in trouble with their wives. 
I don't mean to do it on purpose, but it happens. All the dances are about ass, 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 ass. Too much ass. Even though there's no studies to show that the fatter they ass, the more money the guy has. Nonetheless, it doesn't stop them from trying. I seen girls with perfect bodies, in my opinion, they were like, no, 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 no. I need to get more ass, I need to pump it up. And I'd be like, oh my god. Then you see him like a couple days later and you're like, hmm. she did it. <laughs> if somebody spending 10,000 and you just, the money just going in the air, it's, it just makes you be, you wild and you turning you up. Just, and you, you, you just you doing stuff now. If it's somebody that's got like maybe two, three hundred dollars, you just, you simple, you, you know, you twerk, <laughs> you two step. This is a $20 dance. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's all. And then when you're done, you say, thank you so much. Yeah. And then you just mosey your way on to the next <laughs> one. Okay, your $20 dance is over. <laughs> Guys, they just, they just want me to bust it open. When you say bust it over, that means like just bend over and just spread everything. And I'm not doing that for $10. I might do it for $10,000. i am not doing it for $10. <laughs> the craziest thing for me that I've been asked to do is go home with you. I am not going home with you. <laughs> we do not go home with y'all. Like, we work at Magic City. We are not Martians walking down the street trying to sell some Now, if it's somebody that, like, a $10,000 spender, and he asked me to go, I'm going to say everything in the world to him to make him believe I am coming home with him. And then I'm going to hop out that back door and get in my car and go home. Listen, it's hard. People think it's easy. It's not easy being a dancer. They're not just naked. They're like... They're naked that's a that's a cool word we use around here it's called naked because naked is one thing you know a lot of people can get paid just to stand still naked you know what i'm saying you could probably pay me a little bit of money i would stand here naked you know you might not like it but i would do it but to bend over and spread your ass naked is a whole different type of feeling Atlanta's number one hip hop station is Hot 1079. Here's that Amorian, Janae Aoki, and uh, Chris Brown, Post to Be. Yeah, this is the song when she's talking about eating behind like groceries. Uh, not my cup of tea. I don't think I'll be eating anybody's behind like groceries. I like my groceries from Publix, not from panty drawers. Somehow songs magically just make people want to throw money. I think the strippers do have a big part of whether a song works or not. If you're a gentleman and you're in the club and this girl's actually twerking her life away, sweating and shaking, and, and, and it's almost like convincing you that this song is it. The DJs and the dancers are more like a and rs and we hear hits, and we love to dance to, and we know what we like to dance to, and we know a hit when we hear it. Music is generated usually first through the strip clubs. It's underground, and that's where it comes first. It grows. It's like roots of a, of a tree. I'm a meteorologist. And it grows from the strip club, and then it goes to the dance club. And when it graduates from the commercial clubs, it usually goes to the radio. Get it correct. Give me respect. Get it correct. Give me respect. I do a man it right now. Finna make the rap put pipe down. Future might be Mr. Magic City. He really started, like, he's the one artist that I know that every song, every other song in the strip club was a Future song. When you look from the outside looking in, you'll think, I'm just Future's DJ, but when you know us and know the story and know Atlanta, then you'll know how me and Future became DJ Esco and Future. I grew up house full of people, aunties on dope. My uncle there might be on drugs. Some of my aunties might use it. Some of them might sell it. But that man said, you know what I mean, my uncles them, I used to look up to them. I just used to like their hustle mentality. I love the fancy cars they used to have. I love the way they used to dress. I love their chains. I used to love the money. I used to see them count. I love how people react when they pull up. It gave me a chance to be able to see certain things that I liked. And I was like, I just had to find my way, what I was good at in life, so I can get those things. I just had to um, fake it till I make it. I thought I had the most talent until I met him. You see what I'm saying? It's like, you think you're the most talented person and then you meet someone more talented than you. That's how I was at Future. 
but I knew if everyone knew we were best friends, then they would think I was just playing his music because we were best friends. So we hid the fact that we were friends. They not even putting it two to two together, like, damn, that's a dude who was hanging with you. They would call Future and say, Future, call DJ Esco, man. Tell him thanks, man. I was in Magic City, he's playing your music. Every time I go in Magic City, he's playing your music, Future. And we be side by side in this house, right here in this house on speakerphone laughing like, oh, like giving it up. Like, yeah, we're doing it, it's working. So we kept it secret and he's a superstar. And by the time they found out what we did, it was, it was too late, he's gone. He's future. <laughs> Thank you, Magic City. <laughs> if your record isn't playing in Magic City, then it's not hot in the streets. I mean, some shit, you know? Gucci, Jeezy, Future, and now Cool America. You just gotta make something happen. Turn it into something any way you can. You gotta get out there and get it. Make something shake. If it's what makes them shake, if it's what makes them spend money, then that's what they play. They're not gonna play a record that's not gonna have nobody buying drinks and nobody shaking ass and nobody spending money. Fortunately for us, whenever Make Some Shake comes on, everybody eats. Hey, what up? It's Esco, man. Y'all finna make it to Magic tonight? We gotta turn up for the grand finale. Ooh, cool America. All right, we gonna turn up. All right. As soon as you go in there, it's a different world. Even my world changed. I think I start walking different. <laughs> then everybody's rich. Whether they rich or not, it's just the persona of I have money. Or I'm around money, so I feel like I have money just with the fact that I'm around money. A lot of people come to Magic City to show off. You're gonna get the Bentleys and the Ferraris pulling up. You're gonna get the chains. You're gonna get the diamonds. I mean, if you can come to Magic and show out in Magic, that means you're somebody. Magic City is just a good, wholesome place. I mean, it's shit, you know? A lot of networking goes on. It's a who's who, because you never know who may come from a basketball player or a politician might take his jacket off, come in with his blue jeans. Nobody don't even know he's in here. All people, money's green. And that's all this is about. Cool America in the building. New stage set, snack man, let's get it. Yeah. I'm gonna make some shame. He ordered up for back, I bet you how we shake. Cause I'll hit my line, he said, let me some shake. I'm on my left 2K, I bet I make some shake. You want people to look at you in magic. They can look at the girls, but they want to look at me throw some money too <laughs> on top of the girls. It's power, money, power. I can throw this money on her ass. I don't give a about this money. It's just the fact that I can throw money on a person and she likes it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just threw money on your ass and you love it. It's a rush. I don't give a gonna throw this money like, yeah. Throw it. You know what I'm saying? It's not finesse. Oh, like, whoa. She might get paper cut. What the is wrong with these people, man? Order another thousand. Strippers are looking for the ball player in the corner, the rapper in the section, the actor over there. Where's the money at? Who's spending the money? Where are the dope boys? You can't forget the dope boys, the drug dealers. They got the money. And they're throwing more money than the ball players because they're showing the ball players we make money too. It's street stuff going on with the corporate. It's a mix of money going on. And the strippers, that's what they're looking for. Okay, who's, who got the money? Because really, I don't want to strip for the rest of my life. I got to get out of here too. How am I going to get out of here and still be able to live my lifestyle? I've seen so much money that it feels like you're walking on plush carpet.
strippers are walking out with trash bags, like Santa Claus Christmas basket trash bags down the stairs, <laughs> full of money. Either you can crawl on the floor to get your money or you can have someone else pick it up. It's a hierarchy type of deal. You know, like it's $100 on the floor. I don't mind picking this up. Here, it's $5 can, or $10, can you pick my money up for me? If it's $5,000, you are like, I don't mind getting my hands <laughs> and knees dirty. I'll pick it up myself. Isn't that the American dream? You either are the one that pursued your dream or you wake up and you work for the person that did. So if you want to live that life, you have to get up and make some shake. We're getting older. We're not getting younger. You got to stack your money up because, man, wouldn't it hurt to go from making a thousand dollars a night to making ten dollars, even twenty dollars an hour. I'm like, I'd rather get my money off the floor. <laughs> Every day I see dancers that are addicted to the pole, um, to the pole money. But just like telling a gambler, don't gamble. They're gamblers. They're going to gamble. Um, dancers are going to dance. Sometimes they feel like in their head that's their best option. Being average has never been an option for me. I think that I could go from, instead of making, you know, $1,000 a night with my clothes off, I could make 10000 plus with my clothes on just to show up somewhere. My goal is to definitely become a bigger entertainer with my clothes on. I've seen some girls get out of the game. What I call it success, yes, because they got out. Is it what they had in mind? No. What you have in mind is here, and you usually end up finding something in this realm. Fame, if fame comes with just being a rich as being a billionaire, then I want fame. People thought, hey, he really loved the strip club. He really loved that. No, I just did that because that was a business for me. I used it as a business. I took advantage of opportunity. If you ain't got the most money, what you gonna use? So you gotta use your talent, you gotta use your charisma, you gotta use the way you talk, you gotta use your look, or you gotta use just your way you dress. You know what I'm saying? You might have to use a friend. Everybody have a story, a story where they started, but that ain't what you want to finish. Sometimes the story might start off a little screwed up, but at the end, you want to make sure your story has had success. It's all about status right now, and, and it's it's sad, but we're victims of, of our own culture right now because looking the role is as important as being the role. The music doesn't help. The music doesn't help. You know, we kind of act like we don't need the real substance in life. The music just talks about the girls, it just talks about drugs, and it talks about cars, and it talks about all the superficial stuff. So it doesn't help that people have a hard time separating reality from entertainment, you know? Because there is, there is a line, there's a, there's a, there's, it's a thick line, it's not a thin one. <laughs> it's a pretty thick line between reality and entertainment. I guess I've been around long enough to realize that a lot of it is just a, a front. I've been around money, I've seen money, I've seen the absence of money and what it does. I realized that wasting it just to impress people isn't really the way to go. Fake it till you make it. I was great at that. <laughs> Fish tail in that parking lot, leave me. Two bad bitches in the got a mighty man. The way I made the work was still called a man. Sipping on the purple in the yellow drinking man. Wala magic, wala magic, wala magic, wala billionaire boy, that's a true inspiration. I'm the astronaut kid, no such things, limitations. Space Prime down 20 in the motherfucking spaceship. Just left magic in the motherfucking nation. Two bitches trailing in a beam out of Germany. Yeah. Gotta think for me, don't wanna think for me. Like my energy, Why? I'm an embassy. I, I know tricks like Chris Angel. I don't trick, but I can make you found. You would just appear from your past life. You a real pill, go out of sight. I'm Pluto talking, Jimmy walking. Lie. When you walking, I used to be flapping now. I'm hawking. I was an earth and now I'm sci fi. Why lie? I stay high. My bitches on they high horse. Yeah. I double back like two cups. I call out in that new push. Mm.
Bitch telling not the parking lot, leave me mad. Two bad bitches and I got them out of man. The way I made the work was a pill called a man. Sipping on the purple in the yellow drinking magic. Wala magic, wala magic, wala magic, wala. 